it's almost certainly impossible to appreciate the beauty of an explosion. But I like to think of it as an intricate game of pinball with a single atom propelled forward and bouncing through the gaps in what we see as a solid thing, like a grain of gunpowder, say, until suddenly, multiple, with a flash of many colored lights, all the others come alive and then things become too fast to follow as they turn nervous and twitchy and as they twist and tumble together, they leave behind them trails of searing light and weave them into the shape of a flower. You can only see bloom once. And it's almost certainly unbearable to try and hear the music in the noise of an explosion. But I like to think of it as that moment in a song when the bass line finally kicks in. After the introductory clicks and clacks of the drumsticks smack the edge of the snare and the closed hi-hat and yet we've all heard far too many songs not to know what's coming but still when the muffled chords explode triggered by the kick drum they reach through your throat and down to your stomach you can never be ready for this and it's almost certainly immaterial what the weather was like at the time of an explosion but in my mind I see a sepia snapshot of a perfect summer afternoon with the weather all the better because you have to imagine your own blue for the sky your own white for the clouds your own red for the bricks your own brown for those strange stains on the pavement and there are no people in this picture the exposure was too long, so just here and there, a hand that lingered on a doorknob or a hesitating foot, just a hint of presence, but no more. And it's almost certainly irrelevant, just one life lost in an explosion. But I like to believe that someone, somewhere, refuses to acknowledge numbers like 200,000 or 85 percent and instead they chronicle meticulously the pattern of displaced cobblestones the frantic flight of startled birds the words still legible on letters spilling from a leather bag and the balletic grace of a body flying slowly through the air and trailing blood like an afterthought on this perfect summer afternoon and they will know that she was 29 that she hadn't seen her two sons for a week that she woke up lightheaded that day believing against all evidence that this time things will work themselves out and I like to believe that just before the shrapnel hit she stopped for a moment with her hand on the doorknob balancing on one foot thinking she had just heard the beginning of a song Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you wanna go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help guys and hopefully we'll see you again soon.